everyone. It's a beautiful day today. I just want to share with you about my day yesterday. It was a beautiful day, kind of like today, you know, sunny and warm, the kind of day you would want for a beach day. And that's exactly where I went. I went to a beach in Grand Bend. I packed up my beach gear, drove off to Grand Bend to meet up with my fellow evangelist friends to have a time of witnessing, praying for people, and, and just chilling and going for a swim. It was, it was actually a really cool day. Now, it took a while for us to find the, the right entry strategy because on the beach, people were not so cool with us like coming up to them being like, hey, let's talk about Jesus. They're kind of like, dude, you're, you're invading my personal space here. And so it was a bit tougher on the beach, although we did get to engage with some people. Um, we, had, we found more success actually on the main street, the main drag that leads to the beach. And one of my friends, he brought his violin and he would play and the music would draw people and they'd be like, hey man, could you play me a song? And as he was playing the music, uh, other friends who were there would be like, hey, we can pray for you as well. And so it was a uh, play and pray strategy. So it was really neat. Now, one of the people that our team got to witness to and share with was a young girl and her friend. Now, she told my friend who was witnessing to her that her mom was a Christian and she was kind of like, oh man, I hear this kind of preaching all the time. Um, now you're going to be preaching at me. You know, it's kind of a joke, but it was interesting to find out that her mom was a Christian. And it got us thinking, you know, her mom must have been praying for her to send a group of evangelists to Grand Bend Beach to witness to her. And it made me really think about the importance of prayer when it comes to witnessing and evangelism. You know, it starts with prayer. You know, Jesus prayed for his disciples. In John chapter 17, verse 20, it says, my prayer is not for them alone. In other words, he's not just praying for his disciples. He says, I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. And so Jesus was praying for his disciples and the ones that the, his disciples will reach. And so I wanna encourage you today. Who are the people in your life who don't know Jesus yet? Who are the ones in your sphere of influence that you could reach, that you could pray for? Who is God highlighting to you? I wanna encourage you, pray for them because God hears our prayers and God answers them in unexpected ways. Sometimes he answers by sending a group of evangelists to a beach to meet with them, to tell them about Jesus and God's great love for them. And so I hope this encourages you guys. Have a great day and be blessed.